Hi everyone, I'm Seth Patton, General Manager for Microsoft Viva. Thank you and welcome to Ignite. Coming out of the pandemic, amid economic uncertainty and a still tight labor market, organizations, employees, and job candidates are navigating substantial changes and new challenges at work. Today, some people are working 100% remote, others are splitting time between home and office, frontline workers are on the go, and salespeople are finally back on the road. It's become clear that work is no longer just a place, but an experience that needs to transcend time and place. Last month, we released a new Work Trend Index report based on a study of 20,000 people in 11 countries, including LinkedIn labor trends, Glint People Science Insights, and trillions of Microsoft 365 productivity signals. The data from this report points to urgent steps leaders need to take to empower their greatest asset, their people, and help their organizations succeed amid economic uncertainty. Now, while many of these changes depend on new cultural norms and work habits, they also require modern technology designed to help employees thrive and grow in a hybrid environment. Employee experience isn't new. It's estimated that organizations spend over 300 billion annually on it across development, training, benefits, well-being, and HR technologies. But these tools are often fragmented and become hard to find yielding little ROI for employees or organizations. Last year, we launched Microsoft Viva, an employee experience platform built on Microsoft 365 and Teams, bringing a cohesive and integrated experience to employees right where they already work. Viva is designed to help companies foster a healthy company culture, from actionable insights to learning and knowledge resources to tools that help build connection, engagement, and purpose. These are new business imperatives that can have a measurable impact on the bottom line. In just the first year, Viva has grown to more than 10 million monthly active users and more than 1,000 paid customers. Viva brings out the best in people and helps organizations succeed around the world. From the beginning, a critical part of our strategy with Viva includes a robust partner ecosystem through an open, extensible platform. In the last 18 months, we've recruited more than 200 Viva solution partners, and have dozens of partner integrations across HR systems, learning management systems, and employee workflows. A recent Forrester study of Viva customers found the platform delivers measurable business results. It reduces onboarding time by 50%, improves worker productivity with a 75% reduction in searching for information, and reduces employee attrition by 20%. This resulted in a 3x return on investment for Viva customers in just the first six months. Simply put, investing in the employee experience is key to attracting and retaining talent, and it can help organizations deliver measurable business results. Let's look at each of the four key areas Viva is helping to drive measurable business impact. First is connection. Hybrid work has led some employees to feel isolated, especially as new employees onboard. Some employees, but not all, start going back to the office. In fact, 68% of leaders say team cohesion is a challenge, while 51% of employees say relationships outside their immediate work group are weaker. It's crucial for companies to rebuild this lost social capital. From our research, we know the number one reason people do come back into the office is for each other, not just company policy. So it's important for leaders to create opportunities like all hands events and on-site team meetings for people to come together in person. But we can't rely on in-person connection alone. Leaders also need to create consistent communication and connection no matter where employees work. Authentic digital communication is a crucial part of this. In fact, employees list authenticity as the number one quality a manager can have to support them. To help facilitate connection between employees and leaders, no matter where you're working, we're introducing two new capabilities. Earlier this year, we launched Viva Engage as a new way to foster community building with the ability for employees to share stories, engage in community conversations, share news, and more. We're now adding Leadership Corner to Viva Engage so employees can interact directly with leadership, share ideas and perspectives, and participate in org initiatives. Leadership Corner is a space for leaders to encourage open dialogue and feedback through Ask Me Anything events, surveys, stories, and more. 
leaders can build, promote, and launch these activities all from one place and use intuitive dashboards to track metrics and employee sentiment in real time. And to support effective communications at scale, I'm excited to announce Viva Amplify, a new internal communications tool that equips leaders and other communicators to reach employees where they are with consistency and impact. Viva Amplify centralizes communication processes in a single space and offers writing guidance to help messages and content resonate with employees. Communicators can then publish to multiple channels simultaneously, manage their campaigns from a central hub, and study resulting metrics to better plan future communications. I'd now like to welcome Gita to show how Viva can help modernize employee communications and connection. Welcome, Gita. Thank you, Seth. It's important for employee communications professionals in an organization to create impact with their message. With Viva, they can simplify their communications by creating, managing, publishing, and evaluating all their communications in one place so they can save time while getting the results they need. Whether planning a large communications campaign or sending weekly updates, Viva's writing guidance helps create messages that resonate with their audience. After creating the message, communicators can use the campaign hub to share a draft with stakeholders, track approvals, publish directly to multiple channels, whether that's in Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, or Viva. One of the most important things for communicators to know is if they're being heard. Now they can set campaign objectives before sending out any communications. Then once the campaign is underway, they can see if their message is generating the outcomes they wanted and if people are engaging with their content. This reporting gives them what they need to make sure they message better and better each time. But that's not all. As leaders, if you need to connect more deeply with your audience, Viva has you covered. Now leaders can have a dedicated space for a two-way dialogue with their employees. In the new leadership corner, you can express what's top of mind for you and create campaigns around important initiatives. From posting interactive stories to hosting our Ask Me Anything events, you can easily connect with your employees whenever you choose. Even better, you can use rich dashboards to measure sentiment and guide discussions with your team. Whether you're an employee or a leader, you have a story to tell, and now you can amplify it with Microsoft Viva. Back to you, Seth. Thanks, Gita. Viva Amplify and the new Leadership Corner will be strong additions to the connection experience area. Now, to help keep every employee in the organization connected and engaged, we're continuing to enhance the frontline worker capabilities in Viva Connections as well. New capabilities such as pre-pinning the Connections app in Teams Mobile and setting it to default screen is just one of the many new capabilities we are targeting for frontline workers. The new world of work has led to a disconnect between many leaders and employees due to a lack of insight and guidance for managers to support their teams, improve productivity and overall well-being. In fact, research shows that nearly half of employees are burnt out. And meanwhile, 57% of companies are rarely, if ever, collecting feedback about their employees' experience at work. And if they are collecting feedback, it's not regular enough for managers to understand and take action in a timely manner. Feedback is a critical signal that can help catch issues before they reach a breaking point that can cost businesses talent, time, and money. That's why we're introducing Viva Pulse, a new employee survey tool that allows managers and team leads to easily request regular confidential feedback so they can understand their team needs and respond. Viva Pulse uses smart templates and research-backed questions to help managers pinpoint what's working well and where to focus. The surveys surface directly in Microsoft Teams, making it easy for employees to give quick and confidential feedback. Managers can view team trends and patterns over time and receive learning recommendations and suggested actions. Importantly, Viva Pulse is complementary and additive to the traditional HR-driven company-wide engagement tools like Glint. We'll be bringing the industry-leading Glint solution to Viva later next year. And together, Viva Pulse and Glint will deliver a powerful combination of company-wide engagement signals from Glint and continuous listening and feedback in the hands of managers with Viva Pulse. 
empowering them to create a healthy, successful team. Now I'm going to turn it over to Malavika to show the new Viva Pulse. Thank you, Seth. Many managers prefer to check in on how their team is doing on a regular basis so they can solve employee challenges in a timely manner. Now, with Viva, managers can request quick and confidential input from their team and act when it matters. Viva lets managers easily ask their teams to write questions with a customizable question library and research back templates designed to drive team success. They can choose when and how often to pulse their teams to spot and surface issues earlier than traditional review cycles. This also helps them keep their team engaged. For example, Managers can send a well-being and burnout pulse after a busy time in the organization. They can customize, preview, and add questions before sending the pulse in a few short minutes. Once sent, team members are invited to give confidential feedback in the flow of work. They can select which actions would be most helpful, making the process quick and results-oriented. Viva then automatically scores how favorably the team is feeling on a particular topic and plots trends relative to previous pulses, thereby saving time. Managers can also see their team's suggestions, recommended actions, and relevant learning courses to help them grow. Now, to build trust and participation with any feedback system, it's important to regularly share what you're hearing, how you're responding, and why. With Viva, managers can share de-identified reports to spark important conversations with the team so that everyone can go together. Over to you, Seth. Thanks, Malavika. We're bringing new capabilities to Viva Insights as well over the next month, including meeting effectiveness surveys. These surveys will offer a new way to request feedback on the meetings that you organize. And building on the popular focus time capability, a new focus mode helps you make progress on important projects and tasks with timers and a curated set of meditations to improve personal well-being. And the new Schedule Send Suggestions feature aligns chat message delivery in Teams to the recipient's working hours to help minimize work-related interruptions during personal time. We need to empower managers and team leads to create clarity and a sense of purpose for employees. 87% of employees report they are productive, yet only 12% of leaders say they are fully confident their employees are productive in hybrid work. We call this disconnect productivity paranoia, and it's making flexible work unsustainable. Instead of worrying if their employees are working enough, leaders need to create clarity around what work is most important. When goals are unclear, it leads to busy work that may not make an impact. When priorities aren't clear, communication isn't clear, contributions go unrecognized, and people feel stuck as a result. It's a systemic problem that requires a systematic solution. We recently launched Viva Goals, which helps organizations align employees' works to business outcomes. This way, organizations can ensure their people are working on the top priorities that are going to have the biggest impact. And at the same time, employees understand how their work is making a difference. Today, we're excited to announce new third-party integrations for Viva Goals that bring purpose and OKRs into the flow of work. Available today are new integrations with Slack, Google Sheets, and on-premise Jira. With the Slack integration, users can receive notifications, reminders, and conduct OKR check-ins directly from Slack. With the JIRA integration, customers can connect tickets in JIRA with their OKRs in Viva. We're also releasing new integrations for first-party Microsoft tools in Viva Goals. This includes an enhanced Microsoft Teams integration for OKR activity and notifications and personalized OKR guidance. And we're delivering new integrations with Azure DevOps, Power BI, Microsoft Project, and Planner. This brings us to growth. If employees can't learn with you, they'll leave. In fact, 55% of employees say the best way to develop skills is to change companies. The good news is that leaders can retain and engage their employees by investing in their skills and career growth. The data shows two out of three employees would stay longer at their company if it was easier to change jobs internally. And most employees would rather make a lateral move to learn new skills then earn a promotion with fewer growth opportunities. Microsoft Viva really helps 
employees learn, grow, and succeed by giving them the knowledge and learning tools they need at every stage of their career. Today, we're announcing new tools for companies to build a learning and growth culture. We're launching a new experience called Answers in Viva that connects employees to answers they need by crowdsourcing knowledge from across the organization. You can think of answers like a conversational experience that is powered by AI for asking questions and connecting to experts in your organization for the answers. We're also pleased to announce a deeper integration between Viva Learning and the LinkedIn Learning Hub to enable a more seamless employee experience and simple admin setup across the platforms. But that's not all. Viva Learning is one of the fastest growing Viva apps with millions of monthly active users in less than a year since its release. And we're adding new capabilities every month. I'm excited to announce that in Viva Learning, users are now gonna be able to access learning assignments from Viva Learning in the Viva Connections dashboard. In addition, we're deepening our SAP success factors integration with a seamless login experience, content playback in Teams, as well as import capabilities for success factors, learning paths, and permissions, all available today. Coming soon, admins and knowledge managers will be able to create learning paths with sequenced learning objects and configure permissions to learning resources directly within the learning app for Teams so that employees can easily access content that is relevant for their development goals. Now I'd like to share some of the key items we're working on for Viva Topics. Available today, Viva Topics will provide support for indexing content in French, German, and Spanish languages. Topic cards will also be available for the Viva Home Connections dashboard and in Microsoft Teams chats. In addition to these four experience areas, connection, insight, purpose, and growth, we're focused also on creating a more seamless experience across Viva and Microsoft 365. To help streamline the Viva experience for users, we're excited to share a new home experience in Viva Connections that serves as a one-stop shop for all the Viva apps. The new home is where employees can go to start their day and catch up on learning, track their goals, engage with leadership, and so much more. It brings together all of Viva, along with the other workplace applications, resources, and information that employees need to succeed. To show you more of the new Viva home experience and connections, I'd like to welcome Liz. Thank you, Seth. Let me show you how Viva comes together in one place for every employee. Here, you see what my home experience will look like in Viva. Viva Connections is evolving to provide this home experience. At the top, you get relevant news from the company and other essentials for me. It's good to see some folks on the team are getting positive feedback and praise. Here, you see a learning course recommended with a new integration between Viva and LinkedIn Learning Hub. You have a feed of company news and social activity. At the top are stories from leaders and others that you follow in the company. You can see key news that the corporate comms team have boosted up in the feed. The interactive dashboard here in the middle allows you to quickly see and complete key tasks. It could be learning about the latest changes your team has made to their OKRs, logging some vacation time you recently took, understanding more about the well-being of your team, or more. Each of these cards offers you a quick view where you can view and update information, access other workplace applications, all without ever leaving the home experience. You can access all your important company resources and sites. While the home brings all of Viva to you, sometimes you want to go deeper with a specific app which you can do with just one click. Back to you, Seth. Thanks, Liz. We're also evolving the briefing email to bring in more content and signals from the rest of Viva. The briefing email is one of the most used features of Viva, and soon employees who start their day in their inbox will be reminded of upcoming required learning and be able to pre-book time on their calendar for learning breaks. They'll also see suggested topics for them to review, confirm their top connections, as well as recaps for key meetings. Our vision for Viva has always been to put people at the center, and that's exactly what we're doing with new people experiences in Viva. 
With Viva and People, employees can discover colleagues or experts across their organization by using AI to create rich profile cards with details on an employee's interests, knowledge, and goals. There will also be a new Immersive People app for exploring your organization with rich org browsing and people insights. Employee experience is not static. And as we look to the future of this growing category, we're also thinking about how to simplify work and reclaim time for specific roles and job types. In particular, how Viva can provide an experience layer bridging the backend CRM and ERP systems of record with how people work today in collaboration tools along with AI to help improve the experience for specific roles. Earlier this year, we introduced Viva Sales, our first role-based employee experience app that automates tasks like CRM data entry and note-taking while also bringing intelligence back to the seller in the tools they're using to connect and close deals in Microsoft 365 and Teams. And today, Viva Sales is now generally available. We look forward to continuing to bring more role-based experiences to Viva in the future. All these innovations we cover today will begin rolling out to customers early next year. And this is just a sample of the innovations coming to Viva to help you create a better employee experience and drive measurable business results. And I'm happy to announce that all of the innovations we did announce today will be included as part of the existing Viva Suite subscription at no additional cost. The Viva Suite continues to be the best way to take advantage of the current and future investments that we're making in Viva and to achieve the best value for your organization. Now I have the privilege of joining one of our product leaders for Microsoft Viva, Kirk Gregerson. Welcome. Uh, yeah, thank Thanks you. for joining Great us. Here. All right, so you've been at uh, Microsoft for quite a while now. I know you've worked on a bunch of great products in Office and Unified Communications. You're a known leader, I think, in the productivity and collaboration space. You could probably join any product at Microsoft, so I'd love to hear why did you choose Viva? Yeah, well, it's great to be here, Seth, and, and uh, thanks for um, giving me the opportunity to share a bit more about, about Viva today. Um, yeah, you and I have been uh, focused on productivity and how to help end users save time and effort for, for much of our careers. And, um, you know, things like Office and, and uh, Microsoft 365. But what was exciting for me about Viva was the opportunity to build on that foundation and actually transcend productivity. So really to um, help employees thrive, to steal a phrase that I like from Satya and, and our HR team. And for me personally, this hit home even before I joined the team as an end user of Viva, um, you know, as we tried to navigate through hybrid work, return to work over the last couple of years, um, and you know, something that you and I are still tackling as, as managers and leaders at Microsoft. So you know, at a personal level, those were some of the things that drove me to, to, to join the team. As a product guy, uh, it's, it's been amazing to see the opportunity for this feedback loop for measurable outcomes we get with uh, Viva that we can we can um, you know bring to customers. So you know we start with a customer can really understand whether their employees are are actually thriving and happy in a bunch of different areas with um, you know getting signal from uh, services like Insights or Pulse, which you talked about earlier, or Glint, and then Viva can recommend tools and best practices based on where employees are doing well or not so well. Um, but the cool thing is that then customers can actually see measurable outcomes um, based on being able to, again, measure uh, via Glint and some of the other tools. Um, the great thing about this for a pro from a product perspective is we can also improve the product in real time then. So, you know, the fact that Viva is about helping get measurable outcomes, which can then drive business success for customers, drive down attrition, make a company more attractive for, um, you know, potential hirees and things like that. Um, you know, that's what really brought me to the team. It makes so much sense. And it feels like an area that we could spend working on for, for many years, big, for big problems, but also big opportunity to make, make an impact. So there's a lot of exciting areas that the team is working on. I am curious about what would you say are the things that make Viva different or unique from the other employee experience solutions that are out there? Yeah, so I, I think about um, four things for me personally, and I, I know I'm, I'm typically supposed to keep the list to three, but I'll give you four. <laughs> um, so first off, you know, you talked earlier about how Viva can bring um, the employee experience to people in the flow of work. Um, and you know, when I think about that from a product perspective, there's a huge opportunity for us to um, 
bring best practices, resources to people in the tools they use every day, you know, so a Yammer, SharePoint, Outlook, Teams. Um, that to me is a pretty unique opportunity we have as a, as a, as a product team. Um, but then the second thing I would say is that because of that reach, we have an opportunity to really bring users a breadth of integrated experiences um, that is quite different, I think, than what else is out there in the, in the market. And so, you know, if I take, for example, um, Yammer and SharePoint, Today, um, obviously a lot, you know, uh, hundreds of millions of people use Yammer and SharePoint for communications and collaboration. But with Viva, we can really extend that experience to be much more intentional about how we build community or how a company could do uh, an internal campaign to get employees on the same page about an important issue. So that's, um, that's quite interesting from the reach perspective. You know, I talked earlier about the feedback loop. I think that's a third area that's quite different, you know, getting those measurable outcomes. Um, I won't get into the feedback loop since I already talked about it, but it's fantastic, um, again, that we can layer on, when you layer on the Microsoft Graph, that we can be even more intentional and contextual about bringing all that information to employees at the right time and in the right context. And then finally, one thing I'm personally excited about is that, um, you know, we're getting, uh, we're bringing Glint into Microsoft over the coming year. Uh, and they have a ton of experience with something called people science um, and organizational development, and they really have a deep knowledge of what levers move the needle on employee experience. And so that's something we're already starting to integrate into the design and thinking with Viva, and so that's another thing that I think will be quite unique over time. Yeah, I think you know all about putting the people at the center and then bringing them the resources and insights they need to be successful. That's great. Okay, so we're here at Ignite. So we got to think about um, our IT professionals and what are we doing to, to help them be successful? So maybe you can walk through a couple of things that we're doing to help IT pros with uh, deploy and manage Viva. Yeah, well, you know, we've we've had great lessons and learned a lot, um, you know, over the past uh, over the past decade from rolling out things like Office 365 or bringing together unified communications, you know, in Teams. Um, and you know, the key lesson for me from all of that is how important it is to prioritize this area up front in the design and development of the product. Um, with Viva, it becomes even more important because we have to uh, be thoughtful about how we bring non-IT professionals into adoption and deployment, um, you know, HR being particularly important in this case. Um, we've been fortunate at Microsoft to have um, people from both our Microsoft IT and HR teams deeply embedded in the design um, and internal adoption of the product. And so, you know, I feel very lucky to have, uh, you know, their expertise involved with the, the development of the product. Um, but to get to, you know, your question specifically, um, we know that IT professionals and HR professionals have a backlog as long as we do of projects and, you know, that they're super busy. So the first thing we're focused on in my team is really streamlining the, uh, the deployment and setup experience for, for those folks. And that all starts with the um, a unified ad admin experience that we're rolling out in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center or the Mac as, as, as many of you know, you know it, um, this uh, later this fall, early winter. Um, that's gonna give IT professionals an end-to-end -end view of all of their Viva services, bring things like, you know, what's, what's um, adoption status or config status, um, you know, license management, be able to understand privacy policy in line, uh, do role assignments or see role assignments and all that kind of thing in one place. So we're really excited about that um, and look forward to getting feedback on that experience. The second thing that we've heard loud and clear is we need to make sure we're giving central um, access and control, uh, more granular feature control access. And so that's another thing that's coming along uh, with uh, the shared admin center. And then finally, uh, a third area that has lots of focus is ensuring that customers can easily bring third party or non Microsoft experiences into Viva over time, layer that on. So the interop piece is really important, both via strategic partnerships we have and through some of the um, API work we're doing. And, you know, an example of that is, uh, you know, the recent um, launch of the a standard API approach for, uh, you know, the long tail of partners uh, in Microsoft Learning to uh, integrate with that, with, uh, with that learning experience platform.
I think people are going to be really excited to hear about these improvements, improvements especially our, our admins. So thank you. Thank you for that. OK, then there's the end user. So some of the feedback we hear is there's a lot of great things in Viva, but there's a lot of things. And that is, uh, you know, having to hunt around for different apps and this different different navigation. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about what we're doing to create a more seamless experience for end users. Yeah, I hear, I hear that, too. So, you know, that, I, I would say uh, beyond um, a shared experience for IT and our HR professionals, it's super important for us to be bringing more of a shared or coherent experience for our end users as well. Um, one of the, we're doing that kind of on two levels, I'd say. The first level is around bringing shared uh, user experience across all of the Viva, Viva applications and services. Um, this really starts with something you talked about earlier, Viva connections as a home for, for an end user. Um, so I won't get into connections, but you know, suffice it to say that even, even for me today, to have that sort of um, you know, dashboard of my Viva experiences in one place to be able to understand that I can go to connections to get into other experiences in Viva, super helpful already. Um, another thing as part of that is that we're rolling out shared experiences around common navigation. So again, to help minimize the need to train users on where to go to find things, um, we're gonna, in all of the applications and experience, have the same um, uh, navigation experience. And you know, this will be something that, uh, you know, regardless of where you start or where you land, you'll be able to get to the other experiences in, in Viva. So that's sort of at the shared experiences level. The second level we're investing in is more around integration um, between or among the applications themselves, and again with third parties at an end user level. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things that really starts with the experience areas you talked about earlier. Um, in great part because that's where we're getting the most feedback from car customers about the opportunity for integration. You know, and so a couple examples there. Um, you know, we've talked about the ability to join data, for example, between insights and uh, you know survey tools like a Glint or a Qualtrics. Um, you know, that's one example. Another one uh, that you know we've just announced recently is a whole deeper level of integration between Microsoft Learning and the LinkedIn Learning Hub, and again third parties via some of that. Um, you know, API uh, work we've done. And we're excited about bringing that even to things like topics where you could get learning recommendations in line if you wanna, if you wanna go deeper on a specific topic uh, or knowledge area um, for expertise finding or, or skilling. So those are a few of the things that we're doing, both shared experiences and then integration among the applications and services. I love it. I'm personally really looking forward to using both the Common Nav and uh, Viva Connections. I think it'll, it'll be great. All right, last question for you. So if you look forward to the next year, what are this may be hard, but what are the things that you're especially excited about? Gosh, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to think that Viva's only been really in the market for about a year so far. And you know, it's, it's obviously early days, and so there's a lot of opportunity ahead. You talked earlier about some things that I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited about, you know, Amplify coming, um, you know, the leadership corner and, and Engage, which I'm, I, you know, as a, as a product leader, I'm already starting to use for posts to the team, um, you know, things like Pulse, so I can in between larger surveys get a get a view of things that are going on. So, you know, a bunch of the things you talked about. Um, but I've had to think about three things we didn't spend as much time on earlier. Um, one is certainly uh, Glint coming in, you know, which is a, is a, is a big um, part of what my team is benefiting from, both in terms of the expertise uh, that the Glintsters are coming into Microsoft with, but also has the ability to complement insights with survey data um, out of the box. So I think that'll be quite quite um, compelling, and we're we're excited about that. A second area is um, you know something we haven't spent quite as much time about today, but you know we just GA'd recently Viva for or Viva Sales, and. I think there's so much opportunity there to extend the employee experience for specific role types, and Viva Sales is really the first foray into that. So I, I'm, I'm eager to, you know, hear what customers think about Viva Sales and you know how we can bring more tailored experiences for specific roles uh, to Viva um, broadly over time. And then the last thing that, as both you know, for customers, I'm excited about, um, and again as a user myself, is 
uh, the Viva goals coming into the into the Viva family. You know, as you know, in our division of I don't know forty thousand people, we're already using Viva goals to, you know, get more clarity, align ourselves, and drive more agility um, at a divisional level. And you know, that goes from the top down to you know the the smallest teams. Um, and I'm finding that to be extremely useful just for for me as a leader, but then also um, you know it makes me see the opportunity for that as part of the broader Viva. So those are, I, I, I'm excited about a lot, but those are some of the things that- uh, It's always hard to yeah, choose three, it's hard but to choose uh, no, there, there's babies, a lot of great yes. things. Well, thanks for taking the time with us today and joining us for this session. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, thank so you, much. Seth. Yeah. And, and thanks everyone for all the feedback you're giving us. Thank you all for tuning in. As we saw with the results of the Work Trend Index survey, the way we work is changing. Investing in the employee experience is key to attracting and retaining talent, and it can help your organization deliver measurable business results. We covered a lot today, and there's even more to learn, so I encourage you to check out the blog I posted for more information, and check out some of the other great content at Ignite and on the web. For those of you already using Viva today, thank you, and we would love to continue hearing your feedback. I hope you're as excited as I am about the new capabilities coming soon. If you're not yet using Viva, I encourage you to join the thousands of organizations already realizing the benefits from Microsoft Viva and be ready to gain even more value in the coming months. Thank you. Mm -hmm.